come riding on a donkey. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Another amazing prophecy foretelling the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Zechariah foretelling the king who, who comes to Jerusalem. He says, here comes a king. This is your king, O Jerusalem. And he's bringing you salvation. He's, he's just, he's fair, he's righteous. Here comes your king. And then Zechariah points out and says, this king will come, but he's coming riding on a donkey. He's coming riding on a colt, the foal of a donkey, a young donkey. He's coming riding on a donkey. And you and I know in Matthew 21, as Jesus came into Jerusalem just before his coming, he told his disciples, go into the city, you'll find a young colt, which no one has ridden on yet. Bring him to me. And Jesus actually entered Jerusalem, riding on a colt, a young donkey. And whether people understood it or not at that time, he was fulfilling prophecy. He was fulfilling Zechariah's prophecy. If somehow the people could connect and recognize who this was, they would have realized that this Jesus was the one foretold by Zechariah the prophet, that he was the king coming in, bringing salvation to his people. What an amazing prophecy that Zechariah would point out one particular aspect about Jesus. He is the king. He is just. He's bringing salvation. Here's what he does. He comes riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. And that prophecy was literally fulfilled. And like this, this week we have seen several other key or important prophecies that point to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Each one of these prophecies were fulfilled. Just like they were spoken of that minute detail, whether it was being born in Bethlehem, whether it was riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, whether it was a virgin conceiving a, ba a child and calling his name Emmanuel, each one of these prophecies are fulfilled in detail. And it just causes us to exalt Jesus, to worship him, and to exalt and worship our God, who would speak to the mouth of his prophets by his Holy Spirit, and as Peter says, uh, that many of these prophets, they spoke and they didn't necessarily understand what the Spirit of God was releasing through them. But they spoke what they saw. They spoke what they heard. They spoke what the Holy Spirit inside them, the Spirit of Christ inside them was revealing to them. And they were trying to search, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what I'm saying? They were trying to look into it. And they didn't understand, but those things were foretold for our benefit. So we could read these prophecies and know for sure that Jesus Christ, the one who was born in Bethlehem, who was crucified, who was buried, who rose up again, he indeed is the one who was foretold and spoken of by all the prophets in the Old Testament. This is Jesus, the one we worship. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We honor you. We exalt you. You are the one who came, who fulfilled all of these prophecies. You rose up again. You're alive today. We worship and exalt you. I pray you will touch the lives of those listening. God, minister to their needs. Break every yoke of the enemy. Release your healing. And it may come into their bodies and minds. Bless them in every way. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.